Welcome back, Seth Bling here. Earlier today, Etho released a video, a really cool video, uh, showing off a block update detector switch, or BUDS as he termed it. Basically what it is, it's a, uh, it's a little contraption where if you, if you get an update, a block update next to it, um, it'll cause a redstone signal to get sent out. So you can play some notes or you know, set off some TNT or something. It happens whenever, for instance, a block is placed next to the next to something or or removed from somewhere. Um, his relied on boats and pressure plates and stuff, and was a bit slower. Uh, this thing updates fa um, within faster than a second, so it's kind of an upgrade, um, and it, it doesn't rely on water or or boats or anything. So. Um, he showed some pretty cool stuff that you could do with it. Uh, for instance, if I have a furnace next to it, and I go ahead and cook some stuff in the furnace, say I want to cook some iron ore, when I start um, when I start setting it on or uh, burning the the wood to smelt the ore, it'll set the um, animation going on the furnace, which produces fire, and uh, that causes an update. And then, as you saw, when it Finished, uh, finished burning, it also caused an update. So you could use that update to place some note block or something to alert you that your, your furnace is done smelting. Um, some other cool stuff, if you have a redstone ore block next to, um, next to this uh, detector and, and you walk on the, the piston ore block, it, it updates in order to play this little animation with all the, uh, all the dust coming off. And so whenever that animation starts or stops, it's, it'll trigger a redstone update. So this is kind of a neat alternative to um, to pressure plates, or also if you hit it, um, it'll happen. So it can also be used as a button or in a trap or something. So as you see, when it stops, um, it'll cause an update on the, on the piston. Any second now. Things just going forever. Wow, that took a while. Um, similarly, uh, when leaves decay, uh, it'll cause a block update. So I don't, I don't know if that's actually that useful, but um, just kind of shows you kind of the stuff you can do. And this stuff was all in Etho's video, so you should definitely go check it out. He has some more applications, like if you have a bed next to the next to the update detector, it'll it'll trigger whenever you go to sleep or wake up. Um, really cool stuff. So. This thing relies on a, on a principle of pistons. Uh, it's a, kind of a glitch. Um, basically, if a piston is extended and the block above it and behind it is receiving power, then the piston won't update um, to reflect changes to redstone. So you see I can do this all I want and it, and it won't update. And even once I depower this block above, it still won't update. So now at this point, I can uh, trigger an update by placing a block next to it. So I use this principle over here for the update detector. And basically what I have is uh, the pistons right now is extended even though it's not receiving any redstone power. And, um, and that's because I, I use a, uh, this sort of mechanism for that. Um, when, it, when it does receive a block update, uh, basically the um, the piston will retract, which causes this redstone to depower, um, which will which will light up this torch, and it will extend the piston here first after t uh, after the delay of one tick, and um, and then it'll power this block after a delay of two ticks. So then, when when this repeater gets depowered, uh, it won't retract the piston because of the piston's receiving power from up here. And then when this one gets depowered, it, it still won't retract the piston, as I showed you with this little example over here. So that that's what causes it to reset. Um, and the nice thing is that since this doesn't rely on boats or water or pressure plates, it resets really quickly. Uh, so you can you can cause an update on the piston by placing a block any anywhere next to uh, the piston. It has to be directly next to it. It can't be like kind of diagonal or something. It can't be next to this block or or this block or anything. It has to be directly next to the piston. Um, but anywhere next to the piston will work. So, so that's how it works. Um, yeah, hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching.